and they came in as a force. Yeah. So the African the, is the white man from a black mother. Is the white man from, from a, a like is his origins okay. hmm. from a black mother, okay. which essentially would be a black father too? I'm assuming. Yeah. But there's so. something which I term the Neanderthal Eve. Mm -hmm. uh, African sixty thousand years ago left Africa, uh, met a, another group of uh, human species uh, called the Neanderthal. All children of something called Homo hab Homo habitabagansis. Uh, so they had similar bloodlines, at least that they can procreate. The the sh sh African woman, or uh, how can I say, Homo sapiens sapien, could not copulate with the male Neanderthal, but the African could copulate with the female Neanderthal, and through that mixture is a admixed uh, group of people. So I call that the Neanderthal Eve. She gave birth to phenotypical different human uh, groups, still Homo sapiens sapient because the father was Homo sapiens sapient, but had different oh, oh, genetics. Okay, I, I follow what you're saying, and I feel like I've heard this before. So what you're saying is that this was a different species, so the reason as to why they couldn't procreate together was because they would be sterile? Yes, the, the female... Uh, the female Homo sapien coming from Africa could not copulate with the male Neanderthal and give them children. So, so then, where, where was their origin? Then you get what I'm saying, like, like. Okay, so where did all of this happen at? It no, no like the, 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 the species itself. What yeah. was its origin then? Homo habit, Homo habitabagansis. Homo habitabagansis is a common. And this is for the white man. I just want to be clear. Yeah, but okay, we we're ahead. before way, 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 way before the white before the different uh, so-called species. Mm -hmm. But that admixture gave birth to people that you would think is the Indians, uh, the Asians, the people that were not uh, uh, genetically like uh, um, continental Africans. But they were all human beings, it's just different hair texture. So they don't texture. all come from a black mother. So the white man is not African. The white man, the Indian, the, all those other races. When you said any, you mean feathers or dots? I mean those that in the like, on continent, like East India, Indians, the continent, India, yeah, India, India about, that area. Those Dunkin' Donuts. People. No, I don't do that. Don't do that. Seven <laughs> <laughs> Elevens. I, I I don't do that. I, I do. do. I'm trying to. I'm just so the people know those people. Can we agree there? Same people. If those terms of those people who largely in this country work in those okay okay <laughs> cool oh, now we know who we're talking but about all right be, all right no but they could be <laughs> but they could be Pakistani see the difference same people is, uh similar people similar different okay. cultures all right. I say it's the same people but go ahead no no problem okay okay and and okay. again the reason why we ask these questions is because Kimmet give Kimmet scholars. Mm -hmm. give us a different answer each time. So mm -hmm. we've heard from one Kemet scholar, I won't say his name because I don't want Sarnetta to get mad again. Um, he said that the white man is African and just lost his way. That's okay. what he said. And so you're saying that the white man is a Neanderthal and the Africans left and migrated. I want I want to because and if I can say something after you, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead, please, please. You sure? Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, you, you, I'm going to make a completely different point. Okay, no sweat. So you're saying that the African left Africa, went, met with the Neanderthal. The female African couldn't mate with the male Neanderthal. So who made it with the, the, the African? So the African male made it with the Neanderthal female? female. That's correct. Is that what you're saying? And she became the Neanderthal Eve. But their Neanderthal men couldn't mate with the African woman is what you're saying. Yeah. And, and that throws me off. That's fine. And the only reason why I'm gonna say is because when you look at interspecies relations, normally all their offspring will end up being sterile. For example, a mule or like like they try to create a liger. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what's throwing me off as far as they're supposed to be different species and they were to be intimate, then both sides should be sterile. They have a common ancestor called Homo began. So then, they, so then they should be the same people. Then that's that's what's that's that's Abs where that throws well, it off. What happens from. is I understand, but we're talking about because you know you know because you know it doesn't happen in any other I, species. So no. you're just you know what I'm saying. So uh, it's like this is the exception to the rule. Then 
no, this is not the um, this is not, not the exception to the rule, but this is what you call admixture. Now, my reference is Planck Institute, um, Savante Pabo. Uh, mm -hmm. You can um, you can read that also. Uh, 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 anthropologist uh, Springer. Those are my. Uh, that is the biggest. Uh, how can I say academic work that's out here based on genome sequencing? Mm -hmm. They 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 um they sequence the genome. So right. you, you will get um different answers. I'm you just like qualifying. That? I'm just qualifying my sources, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. You, um, and we can move on. Okay. All right. You got a question for me? Um, not now. Okay. Not now. Um, brother Captain, uh, what J what brother Jabari is simply saying is that um. All life began in Africa. That's what he's saying. When he's saying like the white man is African, well, Unk made the same statement as well. When if you was the ex, if Unk, Neanderthals is living somewhere else, then life couldn't have began in right. Africa. But if you was the ex, Unk, where the white man come from? Would you consider he say Neander the same thing? Would, would you consider you. Neanderthals human? Like yes. what is it? Like, and and two parts. Yes, I guess a two part. Would you consider them human? And where can we see their elevation, like their culture? Pottery, something you can't see. And, and where could we see any two other humans that both sexes, if they were to interact with either other sex, can't would be mate. sterile? Right. I so, understand. Because it doesn't happen. Because I'm glad you said that. Because it sounds strange when you're saying because if they're all human, just a different type of human, like it's many different races that exist today. Okay. So can you show me that hat that theory that you're saying? Can you show that happening yeah. again? With different species. Well, of we're not on a. This is over close to a, a million years of human development, right? And that's another thing. I just, just I don't mean to cut you off, but like, yeah. you, you also got to tell me where you gonna get these sources for the time. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. these sixty thousand million years and all that, like, like who's whose clock are we going off of? Okay, so uh, that's just uh, that's just science. Science says Who's that science? there's different periods. Science is science. It's not. But when you say, like, it's science. interesting when they always say, and I don't want to spend too much time on the science no. part, but it's interesting when y'all always say millions of years, but we can't see no life. Like, if you take. I'm not saying millions of years. Okay. I'm, a million. I'm, how many years yeah. you're saying? Give me, give me a time frame. I'm you saying me. that you have what you call a uh, uh, human, humanoid uh, groups like uh, Lucy. That they call but what's Dangnesh. the time frame for that? Because uh, I'm pretty sure don't they date her bones on like two different time frames from when they found her? There can always be discrepancies, right? So if you tell it telling me Lucy is this bone, this body, yeah. But then when they date the body, the limbs date, let's say 10 million years ago. No, and then the breast, I'm just giving a different a time yeah. frame. And if the breast date 12 million years ago. How yeah. can them bones? Well, this is science. If it's si but, but science is supposed to be something that science in itself is a guess, but they try to make it appear as if it's exact. So when you bring up Lucy, and we know that Lucy got two different time periods in her body. Give me a source. I'll, I'll pull it up. I didn't know we was going to get this deep on this right. part, but well, I'll, we, I'll pull we up can the give source it, for it. What we can do is we can move on, right? But, but before yes. we get to move on, you have you was mentioning millions of years. I said a million years. Okay, let's go with the million years of human development. Mm -hmm. Where do we see that agriculturally mm -hmm. or culturally, archaeology? Like the like y'all get on us about Israel, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I ask this question. Y'all get on us about Israel, which we can show where like the Romans burnt our city down to the ground. Mm -hmm. So we may not have nothing. So now can you show me archaeology? Mm -hmm a million years of growth or development from these people that you say started out one way and then eventually evolved. Can you show that? Uh, I'm not prepared to show all of it mm -hmm. today, but I can say, I can say if you want to look for the earliest culture, you would find it in Southern Africa in the Blumbo's caves. You got Lucy? Oh, okay. In, in the Blumbo's caves. Uh, met Facebook message it to me. When Lucy, Lucy and them are not necessarily what you say, Homo, they're not Homo sapiens sapiens. These are uh, these are eight. Uh, how can I say great apes? Homo sapiens developed from great apes, right? See, that's science. That's, that's, not, that's science. not science. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm done. We <laughs> that's gonna, the white man. Can't that's explain. what I'm saying. No, that that, no, that no, is completely the white man's philosophy. No, this happened. See, here's the thing. Don't say this happened in Africa. No, it didn't. 
This happened I in Africa. Listen, I don't like all Africans Antarctica. at all, but I, I would not put monkeys on But they're still on monkeys, Africa. yeah. I would, I, would not we, put, I would not put monkeys okay. on Africa. Let, let, so let, let, me, let me say, no, go ahead, you know, go ahead, Reggie. Yeah. Just, How far, just keep, the, here's the thing shit. is, we just, this is the crack a barrel. <laughs> You that's, you're right. That's that the crack. That's in the crackers barrel right there. That's where that comes from. Easy off of that. Uh, see, see, captains. The reason why y'all having a hard it's time. It's a third time. The right, reason third. why y'all having a hard and difficult time with this is because you don't take time to come out the Bible to study history. You don't I'm, take oh, time. Oh, oh, oh. You don't take time out to come out and study right. geography. You right. don't study African culture. You don't study well, the Reggie African does, science. Right? So yes, what you do, show but me the agricultural <coughs> growth. Of but this he's he's he is showing it to you. Ago? But see, your Hebrew His brains, your Hebrew brains monkeys. can't comprehend so it. You know, you know what the problem but is? But let me finish. Let me answer you, you bro. Got the mic. Your That's Hebrew no. brains do can't come comprehend. Do we come from yes monkeys? Or no, no, we don't come from monkeys, and so we now, never said that. We never. No, Reggie never said we come from monkeys. See, your Hebrew right. brains he, he tried, can't just, really he, comprehend he, he tried, the he, history lesson because we're dealing with history and you coming out of the know, Bible. See, the Bible, brother. Come on now. He trying to clean up like this. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, okay. So, now, so, okay, okay, I'm sorry. okay. So, uh, so I mentioned that we come from uh, great apes on the evolutionary. Great apes. You say you say we great apes. Great, apes. great apes. Great apes. That's correct. On the uh, on the evolutionary. Uh, uh, we come from great apes. That's correct. So side. We come so, from great apes. Yes or no? I, I, let me just con apes. Listen. <laughs> let me just. <laughs> Did you get you to the guy who on camera when you uh, said this? Do we do we come? Here's here's where I laugh. Do we come <laughs> from Adam and Eve? <laughs> do we all come? Do we all come from Adam? I, and Eve I'd rather come from Adam Eve than an ape. No, no, rather. I, I'd rather come from a <laughs> okay. man and a woman than from a fucking ape. Okay, right. that's fine. That's that's fine. That, but the Bible is incorrect when it comes to the creation of the universe, the creation of the world. The creation of um, human beings is incorrect in those things. So, if those things are incorrect, right, what do you have as tools to prove your case if you're saying that I'm incorrect? So, um, I'm, I'm being nice right now. Um, so, what I argued with Captain Tazariah take this cover off put that one later what I argued with Captain Tazariak and uh, uh, Captain uh, Katazak and yo have some yo get a library card right most of you ain't got no library card look over here I argue with him Homo Hydebagansis and Neanderthal and Homo Hydebagansis is probably the most modern link to um, the Homo sapien and also um, why the Neanderthals can actually uh, admix with uh, Homo sapiens. So here is the whole family tree. Uh, uh, Sinetta may be able to take a picture of this or put it up on a wall, right? But um, these are reconstructions. But let's look at some of them. Let's look at now this um, great ape lived at the time of um, probably the most common um, ancestor, but was not directly related to our most common ancestor. And here is his reconstruction. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right? Here's his. Can you handle that? See, here's the thing. Y'all all, all want to run out and y'all want to watch the movie Black Panther. Because y'all want to be Black Panthers, right? Mm -hmm. But you want to be everything else except for the great ape. Why don't you want to be the great ape? Because you don't really want to be African. See, that's really what it is. You really want to be comfortably white. But you don't want to be the, fur you want to be the furthest thing from African. And you feel that the Africans look like gorillas and apes and you want to distance yourself from that see you're emotionally connected to this but the European Sarnetta 
Put up, um, what's his name? Cheddar Man. Mm -hmm. Put up Cheddar Man. Cheddar Man uh, is basically a Neanderthal homo sapien derivative that is pretty much the brown European. The brown British. He was the first British. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So... But but when I mean when we but he was a British, black he was black no they had brown skin but Neanderthals yeah. had brown skin oh see Neanderthals are not white Neanderthals have brown skin so he was mm. he came from what you call the Neanderthal Eve and I'll try to get to that he came from the Neanderthal Eve Cheddar Man so he is a human being he is brown right. He is on the stun belt. Aunt does a great job of showing the the the, the equator line and the and the relationships to skin color, but all humans. How can I say? All melanin is an important factor in human development, and all mammals have a certain amount of melanin to protect them from the ultra uh, rays of the sun. It's called Glover's Law. You can read, check out the Diop's African Origin of Civilization for that. Right? All, um, so the, the fact of the matter is you get white over an evolutionary period when you don't need the sunlight or there's an absence of sunlight or there's an absence of a fish that's going to give you uh, the vitamins that's going to uh, help you become dark. So that the admixed homo sapien sapien who intermixed with the Neanderthal and produced the Cheddar Man, ultimately he was going to become whiter through an evolutionary period because of being in the uh, the warm uh, ice age. But we're going to get to that. So now, I can go over the reconstruction. And again, uh, you should buy the book. It's Human Evolution. Uh, Evolution and Human Story by Dr. Alice Roberts. Uh, I'm going to get to um, what our common, one of our oldest common ancestors looked like. Up a little bit. Okay. This is Australopithecus afarensis. No, Brother Reggie, <coughs> we didn't come from him. But now you want to watch the Black Panther movie? You want to watch all of these comic books. Man, you're in love with white supremacy. You want to be Superman. You play with Barbie dolls. But here's the thing, though, Reggie. Check this out, though. Um, Shazam! You say... Do you come from the teachers? Do you subscribe to the teachers that the black woman is God? No. Because I really never heard you say that. No. Okay, because that's what Captain tried to use on you before. Yeah, because he thinks I'm not. I told him my classifications. I'm not a religious non-Valley African. Right? Right. I said that Dr. Ben said that man created God. Man and woman created God. That's right. Right? I said, this is my orientation. I said that... I said that, um, it says mystery system teaches that man created God and the mystery system teaches that women came first. Yeah, and the mystery that system teaches that humans become gods and goddesses by yeah. virtue of Check. their behavior. Right, because some people will say, well, how can you say the black woman is God and then say your God come from the ape? Because those people who say that the black women are God or some of the same people that I'm talking about, the other side of being... You know what I'm looking for for you to do, right? When I say that, you pose to simply come back with, first of all, let's deal with the word God. Who created God? God was created by man. That's correct. So we took it and spooked it out and we got did. spooked out with we, the word. But hold we, on, hold yeah. on. We took the word God yes. and got spooked out by the word God. Because look, when you go back and coming out of the womb, 
You don't know nothing about no God until you are taught that through your parents. Until your parents are taught that through their parents. That's and good. so on and so on. And it goes all the way back down the yeah. line until we begin to get stripped of our names, our language, our culture. Yeah. And, and, and who we are as a people. Yeah. You see, so when you go back further enough, you'll find out when the word God wasn't even used in our vocabulary, Brother Reggie. That's, you didn't have a you didn't have you a, understand you didn't have what I'm an saying? African word right for God. There you go. Right? You didn't have an African word for God. <laughs> so the fact of the matter is you fake you fake white people. Matter of fact, you lesser than them. Because you don't even want to study. So what we do is, Reggie, we take the word God yeah. that that's, the white man gave us. That's correct. And we make it real in our lives. Because so we, this is what stagnates us, Reggie. When you really look at it, Dr. Reggie, it stops us from doing what we pose to do sure. because we put everything in the hands of God. Look at Captain Tazoria. The sky is going to crack. Men going to come from the sky with chariots and horses, men, right. and they're going to save us. Yes, right. Jesus walked on water. Right. That's, you see? Okay. So, come on, brother. So this is the Bible I, versus science. Yeah. That's your next. That's your next no, mission. I, I, I got to give I, you, Doctor uh, 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 No, I um, I, I am always, I am always prepared. I am always, always prepared to do. I'm always prepared to do that. I wanted to show. So I showed Captain Tazariak in them. Uh, in their in their secret societies and even in their government organizations, right? Uh, they don't just let people come in without knowing who their parents are, their grandparents are, their great grandparents, their lineage. They don't want people in this system that is going to betray them like we betray ourselves. Dr. Leonard Jeffries, when I took his class at City College in New York. He asked me, uh, what are you doing in my class? I said, I'm interested in black history. He says, well, look, I'm looking at your record. You ain't take too many black studies classes. I got to ask you a couple questions. See if you can answer these questions. Do you know who Abraham Lincoln is? I said, sure. He says, uh, do you, uh, tell me about him. So I told him about the Emancipation Proclamation. I told him about the Civil War. I told him, he said, okay, fine. Do you know who George Washington is? Sure, sure. What do you know about George Washington? Yes, I know the American Revolution. I know Lord Dunmore and the Ethiopian Reg Regiment. Um, I know um, uh, aspects of of the uh, American going to uh, uh, deserting and going to the British, winding out, winding uh, um, in Canada and etc. He says, "Fine." He says, "So, what do you think you're going to get in my class?" I said, "I think I'm going to get a C plus a B." At least, I mean, I mean, I, I haven't seen the material. He says, well, right now, I'm going to tell you in my class, you're looking at an F or D. So why am I, why am I looking at F or D? He says, because in all this conversation, you want to tell me about everybody else, but you don't want to tell me about your own family. The problem with black people is that you can have a God in the sky, or you can have an Abraham or Joseph. You can have all of these prophets that you have, these Islamic prophets. You can have them all. But where was your family? See, if you can't trace the lineage of your own family, mm. you are not even human being. You're not. You are nothing. If you just can't tell me who your great-grandparents are, your grandparents are, who are you in this world to be relevant? You're nothing. Now you come up and you create some... African name or some Hebrew name or some uh, some um, Moorish name or some Arab name, but you're not going to tell me that your parents were these people, except for maybe someone like Brother Roy Bay, whose family may have been involved. Most of you are converts. You are simply converts. You have converted to a religion, and that's the lie. The lie is, when you convert to religion, and that in doing so, you leave out your own family history. As a matter of fact, you lie on your family. I'm going to show you all something. Because I don't, I don't really, um, I mean, here, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna show you, I'm going to show you something. First of all, this is my father. So, my father is a black man. His name is Alfred Mabry. Hold on, hold on. This is my 
father. He looked like you. You look like him. Yeah, this is my father, right? Mm -hmm. And this is his uh, uh, funeral program, right? So this is a public record, right? This is my father. Let me show you something. This is my mother, born in Newport News. So I'm just telling you who I am. Because see, the difference between me and, um, and scholars, we have to study our family history before we even know. Here's my mother and my father and marriage. Okay. Let me show you something. This is my mother's mother. Mm -hmm. She died last year. She was 98 years old. She, right? She was 98 years old. She died last year. Early year. That's it. Let me show you something. I'm going to show you. Uh, they don't have a picture of her father. But this is her father's funeral program. Right? And he was uh, born in... 1891 in North Carolina. Right? Say something else. Say something else. This is his wife. Right? My grandma Gilchrist. My great grandma Gilchrist. She was born in North Carolina, moved to Virginia. She was older than him. So she was probably born in uh, 1890. My great grandma Gilchrist. My point of showing this to you, and I and I did show you uh, my mother's mother, right? And in uh, in here is also her husband Alfred Noble Pearson. I don't also tell you that my uncle Alfred Leon Pearson married um, Ruby. Turner, who is Nat Turner's great 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 granddaughter, right? So my first cousin, Kevin Pearson, is a direct descendant of Nat Turner. But I don't do that. I'm a descendant. Because I know black families are great and we, 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 we intermarry and we do stuff. But the fact of the matter is, Sonetta, don't have nobody come on your show who don't know who their grand their granddaddy is and their grandmama. They, they have two they have two sets of grandparents. Don't have them come on your show without their great grandparents. You know why? You know why? Because they could be agents. Because they could be making up stuff. Meaning they're here, but they're not here. Because anybody who's going to say that they are a Hebrew or a Moor or a Muslim, they're converts. They converted to it unless they can show a family line of what they are. And trust me, they can't do that because All when right, you read family, family programs, you find Let's that get most some of likes, them were Christians. Let's get some likes. So Not I Israelites or Hebrew right. Israelites or Moors like or Muslims thing, or any of that. Let's get some they likes were in this video. Christians. And that this is something that they're comfortable with because they can run game. 